Hayden hit us up from Coleman, Alabama. And Hayden said, do you think that the Power Five will have their own playoff and the group of five will have their own playoff too? And Hayden, the answer is, I don't think so. But here's the follow-up, Hayden. I sure wish they did. I've taken immense amounts of criticism for this over the years. And it's, it's one of the things I think should exist that I don't understand the controversy around. There are some things I think, uh, like playoff expansion, period. I get why some people push back against that. There, there are very divided opinions on that. But long before anyone ever started talking about expansion and we just had the four-teamer, I looked around and everyone was arguing about whether Boise State, even but this is pre-playoff actually, whether Boise State should have a shot at the national championship or whether UCF should have had a shot at the national championship. And why? Because they went undefeated and an undefeated team deserves a chance to play for a title. And on the surface, that all makes sense. It certainly makes sense. I've never pushed back against those particular fans complaining because it's not UCF's fault, nor is it Boise's fault that they play in a very flawed system. They're doing everything they're asked to do. They are winning, in their cases, every game that they played. UCF was undefeated. Utah, back in 08, I think it was, undefeated. But they didn't play for a championship. Why? Because uh, the committee or the computers, whatever was in charge at the time, looked at them and said, yes, your record is perfect, but we think other teams are better who play a higher caliber of competition. Did you hear what I said there? A higher caliber of competition. I also agree with that, that there were teams out there in 2017 that played a higher caliber of competition. Therefore, their records, even maybe with one loss, merited getting in over an undefeated UCF. So then the UCF crowd pushes back and they say, how could you say that? Even if you think they're better, don't we deserve an opportunity to prove it, to have it play out on a neutral field somewhere? And the answer is yes, in theory, no, in reality. So what Hayden just asked goes back to the argument I've made forever. Instead of trying to shoehorn every team in 130 plus, depending on the year, into this same category, why have we not done what, for instance, Major League Baseball has done forever? And that is understand there's a certain level of teams, we call that Major League Baseball, and then there's a certain level, we call it AAA and AA and single A. And I understand those are affiliates, and that's a tiered farm system for a big league team. But also, we understand the guys who are at AAA, the teams in AAA, AA, single A, they're also proportionately tiered based on talent level. And while it's not an end-all, be-all, their players in AA better than AAA, etc., whether it's an end-all, be-all, and whether it's a seamless comparison to college football, in college football a long time ago, Someone with common sense, in my opinion, should have looked around and said, I really don't think Central Florida is playing the same caliber competition week in and week out that LSU is. Why are we pretending anything other than that? Why are we pretending that Boise State is facing the same challenges week in and week out that Texas is? It's ludicrous. And so you can either be of the opinion that, well, none of that matters. All that matters is record, which is misguided at best in college sports. Or you could look around and say, why don't we just have different classifications? And with the classification system, I would also argue for a relegation system so that if I put you down in tier two, I also give you a path to tier one. And that's where you lose a lot of the suits. That's where you lose a lot of the more administrative, bureaucratic side of the fence, the ones that are in charge with making decisions. They want their seat at the table promised. They want their seat at the table guaranteed. And so they also reach across the aisle and they need to because that's where they, they get their sustenance. They get subsidized in many cases from existing in a world where the big boys are a feeder system for them. Sadly, in return, they are a feeder system. The talent comes there. They get developed and they transfer portal to the big boys. That's a broken system. It should have been fixed a long time ago, Hayden. I don't know that it'll be fixed this time. In fact, I, I don't think it will. I think, if anything, the 12-team format it guarantees you have at least one of those G5 caliber teams in per year. It just virtually guarantees that. You're taking the six highest rated conference champions. Yes, yes. So, I mean, you got five power fives out there. Do the math. You've got at least one. Then you've got six at-larges, and there's a half-decent chance a, a Tulane or, or whomst ever could work themselves in. 
And you may think I'm, I'm anti-Tulane or anti-Boise. I'm not that at all. I love watching that stuff as much as you do. I just don't like that we pretend that this sport is something it's not. And, and what it's not is equal. It's not equal at all. There is a difference in strength of schedule. You are not what your record says you are exclusively. But they haven't elected me commissioner yet, Hayden, so we're going to deal with it for the time being.